Hey guys, I'm Thomas and today I'm going to be taking you through the steps of how to live stream a performance. There are five necessary steps to live streaming, no matter the size of your setup. Number one is creating a video signal. Number two is creating an audio signal. Number three, combine the video and audio signals. Step number four, route that mix signal to a device capable of streaming. Step number five is streaming from that device. Now within these steps, there are various different kit options for you to use, dependent on price point, usage, and a number of other variables. I'm going to be taking you through a fairly standard one camera setup that you'll see on the likes of Boiler Room, Late Night Shopper, or our DJ streams. However, I'll be taking you through some of the alternative cheaper options as we go through. So step one is create a video signal. For this, all you need is a camera that can output a video feed. We're just using a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K, but pretty much any camera will work for this. But as long as you know the output of your camera and have the relevant cables, you can pretty much use anything. For example, our cameras output a HDMI signal, so we're using a HDMI cable. But your camera might output an SDI signal, so make sure you just have the relevant connections for your camera. So step two is creating an audio signal. For this live stream, I'll just be live streaming a couple of DJs. So I'm just taking out of the rack out on the back of this DJM 900, just using an RCA cable. Your audio connections may differ. It's really dependent on what you're live streaming. For example, at home, I have a two channel mixer that doesn't have a rack out. I take out of the master and I use a stereo XLR setup. You just have to know your kit. Step three is combining the audio and video signals. For this, we're using a Blackmagic ATEM switcher but there are many different products on the market dependent again on price and usage. In this example, we have the HDMI video feed and the Recal audio feed being routed into the ATEM and combined. Step four is routing our program feed into a device capable of streaming. You'll be taking the program feed from your video mixer, routing it into a sound card, and then routing that sound card into a laptop for this example. So in this setup, we're using a Blackmagic Ultra Studio as our capture card, but you can get capture cards for as little as £10 from Amazon. It's all dependent on budget and quality. Most video mixers will have a program output. This will give you a clean feed that is broadcast quality. In order to stream out from your laptop, you're going to need a streaming software. OBS is free and really easy to use. I personally use Wirecast, but today I'm going to be taking you through the steps to use OBS. So now we have to open OBS. As you can see, we've got no source currently. It's showing up with a blank image. So you want to hit add. Select your chosen video capture device. Okay. Select your device. Hit okay. We can go to settings. Go to stream. All you need to do is fill in these with the relevant details from your chosen streaming destination then go to output. You can then fill in all of the output, audio and video settings that your streaming destination prefers. And now you should be ready to start streaming. So just hit start stream and you're ready to go live. Now, as said previously, there are many different routing options. It doesn't have to be this complicated, but this is the most common way of doing it. To cut out some of the expenses on kit, we can bypass the video mixer and directly route the audio through the camera as most cameras will have an audio input. You can then feed the audio and video directly from the camera to the capture card. Even simpler still, if you only have access to an iPhone, you could buy an iPhone compatible sound card such as the iRig. This will allow you to combine the audio and video signals directly in your iPhone and stream out to your chosen streaming platforms. There are many different routing options dependent on price and usage. The main thing to remember is that the five steps mentioned today are universal for pretty much any routing option that you'll come across. And that's all you need for a basic stream. Cheers.